Well, you know, the solution to the problem was really quite simple. It came to me one day in, the, in my bath, and I was helped, probably, by the fact that I had spent five years during the war as an RAF pilot and instructor, flying instructor, sitting behind one of these propellers. So I was very familiar with the principle of the propeller. Now, the principle of the propeller is really quite simple. When it's made to turn, it creates a draft. Alternatively, if it's placed in a draft, it will also turn. The spin haler works in the same principle. Inside, there is a miniature propeller. When the patient breathes in, it rotates and vibrates and releases the drug into the airstream so that you get automatic coordination of the release of drug with the patient breathing in. And really, that's the principle of the spin haler.